Virgo, we're in the Libra cycle, the month after your birthday, and that's always a get going energy. It's time to get going. It's time to get moving. So you could really start to feel that. And the beginning of the month, we have the sun is square Pluto and opposite the planet Uranus. And that is a tension energy. It wants its freedom and transformation. And for you, it's in the sector of your world that represents your money and your finances and the things that you have that allow you to do what you want. So it's called the house of resources. And mo a lot of pop astrology might call it the money house, and it's not that it isn't, but it, there's more than money that's a resource. If you want to travel someplace, right, if you want to get from A to B, transportation is a resource. So you don't have to own a car, but if you have a friend that owns a car, that's a resource if they let you use it. So it's, you know, looking at what you have and expanding that vision, expanding everything that's available to you for you to be able to expand your world. Not to think, you know, just because I don't have the money to do it means I can't. Expand your viewpoint. Allow for transformation. Allow for change. The lunar eclipse, which is a powerful full moon, can bring that illumination of awareness of all that is, that all that shows you is like, yes, there's really a lot available to me if I expand my consciousness to incorporate it. On the 15th, Mars has gone into your sign. So Mars went into Virgo on October 15th. And it's going to be trucking through Virgo and that energy of Mars in Virgo, when it's in your your sign, it's another, it's this extra push from the universe of get moving, get accomplish your plans, take care of yourself, stand up for yourself, be able to do what you want. And it, there might be something where you might feel a little confrontational with somebody if they if you feel that they're overstepping their boundaries. But it's more of a, uh, a movement energy. It's very good for exercise. It's very good for getting any projects done. Mercury goes retrograde on October 21st, and it's going retrograde in Scorpio. Now, Mercury in Scorpio is can be tough because it was like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do nicey nice. I'm gonna tell you like I see it. You can like it or not like it, but I'm gonna cut to the truth of the matter as I see it. And of course, you know, people have different ways of seeing things. But Mercury is going retrograde in a sector of your world that certainly represents communication. And so you may find, but it's retrograde. So it's rethinking your communication, getting back together with people, getting back to the emails, you know, reconnecting. And it's also, uh, if you journal, it's a great time to journal. If you want to get back to a book or some learning, it's a great time to get back to that. The sun goes into Scorpio on the 23rd, and that is emphasizing this. It actually emphasizes what started with the Mercury retrograde of communication uh, talking things through, rethinking things, getting back to any type of learning or especially writing that you want to do. And being willing to, there might be a book that comes across your your desk, your computer, whatever, your vision of your world that is psychologically oriented or deals with the deep psychology. I mean, it can be very spiritual. It can be very intuitive because Scorpio does have a side of seeking knowledge of this is this energy is saying that you could be pulled towards seeking knowledge of the secrets. So meditational practices or something that most people don't normally delve into. The month ends October 31st. Um, 
known as Hallow, Halloween trick or treat for the USA with the when the kitties dress up and knock on doors and get candy. And so happy Halloween to all those that celebrate that. And I know it's a lot deeper than that, but you know, on for an eight year old kid it uh it can be candy time. And but the energy is very intense as we have this Pluto Uranus square. It's exact November first, yet and it's been in building, building, building through the whole month of October. But for you, where it's the Pluto is in Capricorn, so it's trying. It's an Earth sign. It's trying your Earth energy. So that's harmonious. Yet it's in a sector of your chart that represents transformation about the things that you love, the things that you, the things that you enjoy, your hobbies. So what do you love to do? And you may f- get, d- d- it's a long-term energy, but this highlight of the square can pull it out. What you used to love to do, you might, it might not hold the same thing for you anymore. And it's transforming or changing something that to something else. So let's say you used to like a certain type of exercise or a certain hobby, and it just doesn't do the same for you. This energy can bring out what else would I like to do? And that, so the world transit is revo- a revolutionary tra- transit. But for you personally, the revolution can be adding on something new that you enjoy and finding balance between how much you have to do for everything else, what uh, what you quote unquote owe other people or owe other circumstances in life, and what you want to do for yourself. So it harmonizes with that. Um, the, the month ends with that theme of getting ready for transformation, of incorporating something new into your world that is near and dear to your heart. <laughs> 